Thank you. People in New York would tell you stuff about yourself you didn't even know. Like, I just found out I have a lost space. Whenever I walk in stores, people are like, are you lost? Can I help you? Like, maybe I've been here before. Maybe I can find my aisle. Give me a chance. Maybe I know how to read. I go to clubs, bouncers always do too much. They're always like, you know I got to check your ID. Like, you don't have to do all that. I'm born in the 80s. Once you see that eight, give me my ID back. I don't care if it's birth date, issue date, death date. I'm supposed to be here. I'm TSA pre-check. I shouldn't have to go through this. I didn't always do comedy. I used to work at a chicken restaurant at the airport. A lot of people complain about their commute to work, but those people don't have to go through TSA to get to a kitchen. I don't know if you ever looked in the back of a fast food restaurant, but there are no chairs back there. My friends used to complain about their jobs, and they used to be like, man, I just want to do what I love. And I used to be like, I just want to sit down. <laughs> I had an interview after that. They were like, sir, have a seat. I was like, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much. Working there, they would only hire people to work the cash register who were bilingual, whether they could speak English or not. <laughs> Just on the chance that somebody only spoke Romanian and needed a chicken biscuit. <laughs> so they would be calling back orders to me. I wouldn't understand what they were saying. They'd be like, yes, I need a bacon, leg, and cheese on biscuit. And I'd be like, I'm going to just give you the sandwich I was working on, and hopefully. <laughs> hopefully their flight leaves soon. <laughs> I can't get in trouble if they complain in another country. I can't get in trouble <laughs> if they complain in the sky. I'm pro-bullying. I went through it. I feel like other people should have to go through it. <laughs> I didn't just get bullied at school. I got bullied at church, <laughs> family outings. I'm the only person I know that got bullied in college. I was well-rounded, but well-bullied. <laughs> I remember one time when I was a kid, these kids took my birthday cards out of my mailbox and ripped up the checks that I got for my birthday and put them in front of my house. And I remember thinking, man, they remember my birthday. <laughs> I feel like a way of adult bullying is people keep asking me, how old are you? <laughs> like, I don't have to answer that question. I'm grown. Sometimes people try to guess my age. They always guess the age is too young. They're always like, are you 12? <laughs> like, no, I'm not 12. You don't know any 12-year-olds that act like this. <laughs> I have too much swag to be 12. <laughs> Everywhere I go, people want to talk about politics. People in waiting rooms, people in bars, people in Ubers. Like, these people are extras in the movie that is my life. <laughs> but they feel like they have speaking parts. <laughs> I don't need to hear what you got to say. You're not in the credits. I feel like part of the problem is we're too focused on the big issues. Maybe we should start with a small issue we can solve and work our way up to the big issues. 
Like, here's a small issue. Are we chipping or are we swiping? <laughs> I feel like we've done a great job of distributing the chip card. I feel like everybody <laughs> has a computer chip on their card. It's supposed to keep you safe. You know, bad guys, they don't know about computer chips yet. <laughs> but then you get to the register and they're like, I'm sorry, sir, we're swiping today. <laughs> then the next time you try to swipe, they'd be like, whoa, 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 put the chip in. <laughs> you don't blow this whole place up, you don't put that chip in. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my job, one more person swipes. Thank you. Rob Hayes! For more on Rob, visit robhayes.com. Uh huh. Sworn and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's sworn and on and on.